Hey guys, Yuda, Sidebrain, Ableton Live, Tips and Tricks, number four. Today I want to show you advanced sidechaining. So we all know how to use the compressor to do sidechaining to get the ducking effect. It's very popular in electronic dance music or any electronic music. Now, in the last couple of years, we saw some plugins getting released that allow you to do some more advanced um, curve type to your ducking effects. Plugins like LFO Tool by Steve Duda or the Kickstart by Nicky Romero. Now, if you don't have those plugins, you can still achieve those type of curves using Ableton Live and Maxflow Live. So let me show you. I have a texture here, just a clip I took from one of the live packs that come for free, the Loop Masters mixtape, and I looped a short section of it. And I also have uh, just a regular kick for on the floor pack. Now, if I'm gonna go to Maxflow Live, open up Max MIDI effect, and I'm gonna drop the envelope onto the kick pad in my drum rack. And I'm gonna map this envelope to the, to the second track's volume. Excellent, I'm gonna turn off the sustain, it's quite important. And now when I play with the envelope, we start hearing those sidechain, those ducking effects, and we can also see the volume notes. You can also add curves and you can play with the decay time. You can get much more interesting results than, than a compressor. You might get some results that you, it's hard to make a compressor or even not possible. Um, now, you do, lose mix, you do lose control over your mixer. So if you wanna uh, retain control, what you can do is you can close this. Uh, I mean, cancel the mapping to the track's volume. Go to the second track add an audio effect track, open up the chain list and create a chain. And let's go back to our kick and map the envelope to the chain volume. And now we still have control over the mixer, but still getting uh, the control over the side chaining. Now, if you wanna control multiple effects, and this is already quite advanced and those plugins cannot do this, what you can do again with max for live go to max for live Max audio effects and load the multi multi map. Let's load it inside the, the chain. Excellent. I'm going to cancel the mapping of the chain volume and map it to the main knob in the multi map. Let's map this to the chain so we have the same control. Okay, everything's the same. But maybe we can add more effects, for example, like maybe like a redux. And let's turn it soft. And let's map the second parameter in the multi-map to this redux. And let's go back to the multi-map. I don't want it to go all the way up, so I can set the maximum um, to something low. Excellent. So we can see the redux move and the chain volume. And you can have as many parameters as you want, which is awesome. I mean, you can add more multi-maps if you want. Um, so this is advanced side chaining. Ableton Live, tips and tricks number four. Yuda. Catch you up soon.